it's one of those things where it's like you really have to calibrate around thinking of what's the effort like what's the effort involved like everything has to calibrate around that and it's, and that's what i'm saying i think i don't i don't i guess a mistake if like that's the production thing i think that's like everybody thing yeah yeah um yeah well, yeah. it, is, it is funny because I think a lot of times people put the idea of planning and scoping and things like that on the product side, for some reason, pr producer side. And it's one of the reasons that I've said, um, you know, I'm more on like the process cultural side. But if if asked, what would be the one thing if you could get something into a team, if you could inject something into a team, what would be the one sort of like way of thinking about the world that you would want to inject. And for me, it's product thinking like, okay, who is our audience? How are we actually going to serve them? And value we, orientation. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like what, how quickly can we deliver value? It's, it's funny because people will create the chart of, um, high, low cost, high, low value. Uh -huh. And it's so interesting when you see teams engage with that because we're drawn towards high effort, high value solutions. We, like, we like they have the biggest impact. They seem like they're going to be the right things. But the funny thing is there's like this bucket in that chart that is like low cost, high value. That's and actually I, where you win. That's and, the and it's funny <laughs> how often people are like, yeah. well, yeah, but they almost diminish that. It's like, well, that's it's it's almost like it's too easy or something. Like right. we can and, just do that later. It's only gonna take us a couple of days. Well, I think, that's, that's I, think you hear a lot. I think one of the fallacies of that too is that what we often don't talk about is Going back to that high cost, high value bucket, a again, a clever enterprising individual, call them a product manager, a manager or a designer or whatever, can look at those things and answer the question, what would it be like if we got 80% of the value of this big thing with 50% right. of the effort? Like oftentimes those uh, solutions exist, those options exist, but they're never analyzed because again, we tend to to sort of staple ourselves to this grand vision we have for a thing. It has mm -hmm. to be like this. And we land on that and we, we dig our heels in. And it's like, no, what if we gave up four out of these 10 things and we got 80% of the value, right? That's why that's one of the reasons why the value orientation is so powerful. It's because you it, it gets you, you that framework where you start thinking like that. So.